guys in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review on a turbo oil restrictor. It's a universal part. It has two little Allen keys that actually go inside the restrictor, and they're two different sizes. It's pretty neat, so let's check it out. So here's the part. It's a 3 an MPT by 8th inch pipe thread. See it right here? It's nice black aluminum. And inside, it has threads. Now it's going to be hard to see, but it has threads inside there. And these little Allen keys, uh, they go inside there and each one has a hole. There's a, that's probably like 50 to 60,000 somewhere in there. And this one's in the 30,000, maybe 20,000 range. So ball bearing and journal. So it's universal. Comes with the little Allen key right here. And all you do is you take, I want to use this one, and as you can see, you got little holes. This one's the bigger one. I have a Journal Garrett AR60 trim turbo. So you stick it right in the hole right here. It's already threaded. And then you take your Allen key and you just tighten it on in there. Get it nice and snug. And what I like about this is it's on the three and side. They didn't put it on the bottom. So it has no chance of getting through there into your turbo. So if it ever came loose and unwound, it wouldn't go into your turbo because it is a small little Allen key. So on top, but honestly, these are real easy to make. You can go to Babe's Ace, you get yourself a 3M fitting. I got one right here. All right, it's the same exact thing, just blue. And pretty much all you do is you get yourself a die and tap, or not a die, but a tap. And you just tap out the top part right here. That's all they did. They just tapped it out. And then you go to Babe's Ace and you get these little Allen keys. Obviously you gotta find the thread. And you just tap it out. But that's what I'll do later. Uh, the holes are identical. Everything's pretty much the same. And uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go put it in real quick. I'm gonna use some gray RTV on the bottom. Here's a, an original one. This is an OBX. It's a 4N. I'm reducing it down to a 3N. And as you can see, it's got a probably, I'd say, a 35 thousandths. I'm going a little bigger. I just need it to reduce the volume. It's not going to reduce the oil pressure. It actually uh, increase the pressure, but it will reduce the volume of uh, oil going through the turbo, causing uh, it to leak past the... Uh, piston ring or the seal, the o-ring seal. So here's my turbocharger oil feed line port and I have to use an adapter. I have to use a half inch by eighth inch MPT pipe thread because uh, they don't make uh, half inch, well they do make a half inch to uh, three and MPT but it doesn't have a restrictor so it's no good to me. So pretty much I just put some RTV all around the thread, some gray and it takes a 12 millimeter wrench as you screw it in it's pipe thread so it'll get tighter which is great that's what we want that's keep keep it sealed and then we just come in here <clears throat> it's a little tight spot and we just tighten it up so here's what it looks like and you got your little allen key in there and i'm just gonna to reassure myself that it's in there I'm going to tighten it while it's actually on there. And there's no need to go crazy tight, but you get it nice and tight. And that's it. Now you have yourself a uh, oil restrictor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.